Giga castings are a challenging piece on many levels. Number one, certainly for the automotive industry, they are the largest castings that has ever been produced. Previously, castings were the mainstay of cylinder heads or cylinder blocks or subframes or suspension uprights or large parts, but not big parts. So there is a scale there that has had to be understood and then realized. But also the, the difference in giga castings from those traditional castings, i.e. you have very thin walls, you have very long sections, you have different material property requirements, you have different alloy composition requirements in order to facilitate the actual casting, the filling of the part. And then the approach to how those parts can be heat treated, how the parts can be machined, just down to how the parts have to be handled is not just a different approach, but it's a different mindset to what the industry is used to been working with. 